A few years ago, I told you about a member who had cancer. And this member received prayer again and again. And we kept praying for her, kept believing God for her and with her. And my God, she came to visit me one day. And when she visited me and she gave me the report, rather than things start getting better, Rev was getting worse. And you would have heard me share that I was in my office counseling people. And at the end of the day, I locked myself in that office. I prayed, I bawled, I beat down the door until the door split. I pray radical prayers like, God, deliver the people or let me come home. I refuse to live and pastor in a powerless environment. There must be results. There must be results. There must be results. I remember crying out to God and fasting and, and pushing and praying. And this person coming to us was one of the persons. Because years ago she was diagnosed with cancer. She was supposed to die. But rather than dying, she's now cancer free. Marjorie Edwards, please come. Stand, people. Put your hands together and give God praise. Cancer free. Cancer free. Cancer free. Please, welcome, woman of God. Please. Be seated, people of God. Marjorie. Yes, sir. You said that you had cancer. Yes, sir. Are these the documentation to prove that? Yes, sir. These are all my, these are some. Uh, these are just some of my imaging report. Uh, the scans, the CT scans that predicts, that tells where the cancers are, where they're coming up, uh -huh. and measurements of them and everything. So it's a, it, okay, and they're putting it on the screen too. Yes. So, so we're seeing the, the measure, how large they were. Yes, sir. And, and, and all of that, right? Yes. Were you in pain or not necessarily? Mm, no, under my chest wall. And before I could go to the radiation, um, just in the week when I was ready to do it, a doctor just said to me, um, you know what? Mrs. said was, give us another CT. And I went and I did the CT. In that they were in my lungs. And remember, I, I tested I remember. Her. She yeah. told me it was, they were now in her lungs. People, do you know what happened when this thing reached your lungs? <laughs> Jesus of mercy. I remember you told me that. Yes, sir. And they were multiplying. They were multiplying like by the week, no, no matter what treatment I'm going through. Uh, they were multiplying, just multiplying, kept multiplying until it moves to the other side. That's the second lungs now. And you know, when it moves, when cancer moves from one side to the other side, it becomes metastatic. <laughs> metastatic. And that's stage four. Yeah. That's stage four. Yes. In stage. People who have stage four cancer, mm -hmm. do they normally get better? No, they're not expected to get better. Persons with stage four cancer are expected to keep, to be kept comfortable until that time comes. So why so, are you so, still here? Because I am blessed and I'm highly favored and I am under the covering of this church. Do you have cancer, by the way? Do you have any cancer in your body? No. No. Yo, no. Whoa. There's no, no with an attitude. I, 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 no. <laughs> Bishop, no. I, I, Do you have cancer in your body? No, sir. No. No. Sir. no. I don't carry that thing anymore. Somebody move out of your seat and praise God. Somebody walk around and worship God. Lift up the name. Jesus
What would you say to those who doubt the healing power of God? I want to say to you that your faith is going to make you heal. Have unwavered faith. You just don't pray everybody. Miracle comes in different way because... And whenever I talk to anybody, I said, my healing is coming. But my healing is to amaze my doctors. My healing is to reaffirm them that science alone doesn't work. God works. He has the final say.